Welcome to Smart Quiz Builder. My name is Veena Prashant. I'm the creator of this plugin. Today's video is titled Smart Quiz Builder versus Typeform versus Try Interact. Typeform and Try Interact have been around for much longer than Smart, uh, Smart Quiz Builder. Smart Quiz Builder, I created it in 2020 uh, August, and that's when I launched it. Now, both of these platforms are great. These are SaaS platforms. Now, Smart Quiz Builder is a plugin for WordPress, but it comes with embed code that you can publish on any site, even if it's not a WordPress site, but SQB is primarily a WordPress plugin. Typeform and Try Interact, they are SaaS platforms and not WordPress plugins. But I want to compare these three because if you use SQB, you can almost do everything that these other platforms do, except at a much lower cost. And there are a lot more features that I think SQB only has, which you cannot do with these platforms. Just watch this little short clip on SQB first. You can see some of the things you can do using SQB. So, you know, why settle for less when you can do a lot more at a fraction of the price? So I'm going to prove it to you, right? So that's what this video is about. Now, uh, I actually love Typeform because I think they're, they have the best design and their uh, quizzes look amazing. But if you look at the pricing, you can see here what it costs. You can see the very basic plan they have. It costs like $25 a month. If you want to remove their branding, you'll have to pay like $50 a month, right? This is the type form pricing. Let's look at Try Interact, another very popular platform. You can see their light version will cost you like $27 a month. You know, for a fraction of the price, you can do almost everything all these platforms do, except you can do stuff that none of these platforms can do, all right? This is SQB site, and you can see this is our pricing currently. Obviously, prices are subject to change. Uh, but this is what we charge currently. So even if we were to increase the pricing, it's not going to be like, you know, what you pay for Typeform or Try and Track every month. This one is yearly pricing. All right, let me show you how you can create a, a quiz that looks like Typeform in terms of how great it looks. And you can build your quizzes using SQB's AI feature in no time. So first I'm going to give you a quick demo of some of the quizzes I created using uh, SQB and how amazing it looks. You can see this is the first quiz. And this one I created using SQB's template 9. And you can see it looks very similar to like Typeform quizzes, right? Except it's not going to cost you so much to build a quiz that looks this awesome. And here you can see I'm using a split screen and I'm using an image here on the left side, but you can use interactive video, right? If you want to upload a video, you can do that and you can have that show up here. I have done that for some of my quizzes. Or you can use GIF or you can use images. Or if you don't want image or GIF or video, you can just have you can use a single screen. You don't have to use a split screen like this. All of this can be customized, right? This template is super customizable. Uh, template number nine, that's what I did. And also I used AI to build out this quiz. So in two minutes, I had this entire quiz done for me by AI. But you don't have to use AI if you don't want to. You can build it from scratch. That's up to you. But you can still use this template. All right, this is the first question. I'm using images for all of my questions. You don't have to. For some questions, you can use images. For others, you can turn it off if you want. That's completely up to you. This is the second question. And I'm just going to answer the quiz, just pick some random answers here. All right, so this is my opt-in screen. Here you can let them know your result type is this. If you want to give them a code for their result type, you can do that on the opt-in screen 
Uh, and SQB has that feature, right? If you, you can display a code here to let them know here's your outcome type, but for more details, a personalized report, uh, go ahead and sign up here. We will email you the report, right? So you can do that. Or you can just say, you know, sign up below for access to this personalized report. We'll send it to you, All right? So I'm gonna go ahead and opt in. That's it, you can see your result type is this and some details and here, download personalized report. And this is another awesome feature that only SQB has. It comes with an advanced PDF builder. You can build out beautiful looking PDF report and you can use AI for your content or you can add it manually, that's up to you, but it will create different PDF reports for each one of the outcomes. And in this case, I use this as an example. Now it doesn't matter what your niche is, what type of quiz you wanna create, you can do this kind of thing with any type of quiz. If you don't want to allow them to download the PDF, on the outcome screen, all you have to do is let them know we have sent you an email with the report, right? You can get SQB to email them the report rather than let them download it on the outcome screen. You can let them know to check their email and you can send them a link to the PDF. Let me give you a quick demo of another quiz and then I'll take you to the back end to show you how you can create a quiz like this in like two minutes. All right, so what's your skin type quiz? Again, the same quiz except a different template. In this case, I'm using template seven and it looks awesome. I have personalized this quiz. This is going to help you get their attention, right? If you personalize using name, you're going to instantly get the attention of the person who is taking the quiz. All right, so I'm gonna just pick some random answers just to show you, and it looks awesome, right? All of these colors, everything you can customize it in the back end. Again, I used AI to build it, but you don't have to use AI. I'm gonna opt in here, and here I'm doing something different, you can see. I'm using animation, again, I have personalized it using name. And uh, you can see your skin type is this and download detailed report, right? You can let them download detailed report and then they click on it, let me show you this. All right, you can see here, I've uploaded a cover image right here. And I created this using AI, this uh, report, but you don't have to use AI, you can manually add the content if you want. I have a different video on this in my YouTube channel, so you can watch that. If you wanna see step-by-step -step how to create a personalized PDF report for different outcomes using SQB. First, let me show you how you can use AI to build out a quiz quickly, and then I'll show you how you can make it look exactly like my quiz. All right, so add a new quiz here. This is a Manage Quizzes page in SQB. Click on Add a New Quiz. And here, select AI-powered quiz if you want to use AI. If you don't want to use AI, totally fine. You can say create from scratch and build it out. Start. So you can use Chat GPT or Open AI option. I'm going to use this option. All right, both pretty much work the same way, except if you use OpenAI, it's going to be fully automated. If you use ChatGPT, you will have to copy and paste some of the prompts we give you into ChatGPT and copy back what ChatGPT gives you back into SQB. That's it. It's really easy. All right, so quiz type here, I'm going to use personality quiz. Tell us a little bit about the quiz you want to create. And here you can select the language of the quiz. And I'm going to select English here. And if you are looking for quiz ideas, right, and you want this to be pre-filled, you don't even have to enter anything here. Just click on this generate quiz ideas for me and let it know like what you want, right? So here, for example, quiz topic is like identify skin type, target audience. I'm going to keep it simple. People looking for skincare and generate is going to give you so many ideas for a quiz in this topic. You can see here so many different ideas. You can pick any one of these if you want skin type quiz. Let's say I pick this one and it's going to pre-fill this one. And all you have to do next is click on generate quiz title. It's going to give you some great ideas for quiz title. You can pick any one of these. All right, how many outcomes do you want? In this case, let's say I want three different outcomes. All right, you can see three different outcomes. Oily skin, dry skin, combination skin, and you can add more outcomes if you're not satisfied with what it gives you back. Description is already here, right? And next, you have selected this title and now question and answer time. So now it's time to add questions and answers. Here I'm gonna say five single choice questions. I don't want any multiple choice questions. I don't want any open-ended questions generate. All right, you can see all the questions and answers are here and it's perfect. I'm just going to pick these and if you want different questions, you can always get it to generate more. Next, if you want to download a PDF with all the details, all the questions, answers, outcomes, everything, you can do that. Otherwise, just click on create the quiz. All right, so you can see all the templates. So I showed you two demos right earlier. Uh, for one of the demo, I used template seven. For the other one, I used template nine. Template nine is the interactive video quiz where you can add video or image or whatever you want, split screen. This is the one I'm gonna show you first. So use template. All right, quiz is ready. That's it, as easy as this, right? I didn't have to do anything. I used AI to build out the quiz. I can update it if I want. So let's go ahead and edit this quiz. 
And this is the short code. You can publish it on any uh, page in WordPress and you'll have your quiz. Here you can enter a detailed description about your quiz and select the type of quiz. This is a personality quiz. One thing you have to do here is like, if you want to add users that complete your quiz to your email platform, you can do that here in the lead generation section, in the display settings, lead generation, where should the opt-in be displayed after the questions, before the question. And also you can select the email platform that you want to integrate your quiz with. This way, when they complete the quiz, SQB will add them uh, to the right list in your email platform. You can add them all to the same list after they complete the quiz, or you can add them to different lists based on their quiz outcome. You will not be able to do this with most other quiz platforms because what they allow you to do is like you can add them to the same list but give them different tags, right? You can do that in SQB too. You can give them different tags based on outcome but add them all to the same list. But on top of that, if you want to add them to different lists and segment them based on lists rather than tags, you can do that. And I think SQB is probably the only platform where you can do this level of segmentation, all right? Next step. So you can see here, this is the start screen, right? So it's a split screen. And this is an interactive video quiz, video question left, that's the default, but you can switch to image, image on left. And you can change image here, you can click on this to upload your image. And I downloaded images from a free site, Pexels, you can download images from any site you want, Canva, whatever, right, and upload it here. See here, it has two options, split screen or full width. In my case, I'm using split screen, but you can use full width, that way you can just have text content, you don't have to upload an image, but if you upload images, it's going to look awesome. All right, this is my outcome. And everything is fully customizable, right? So again, it's a video format. So on the left side, it's showing video option. I don't want to upload a video. And ideally, you should upload a video, right? For each outcome, talk about that outcome and let them know, you know, your outcome type is this because you know that you're recording a video for a specific outcome, right? Because you will upload different videos for each outcome. So let them know what this uh, outcome means and what's next for them. Let them know you have sent them an email with a personalized report and that's all you have to do. But initially, you don't have to, you know, spend time creating videos. You can always upload videos later. So just go ahead and upload an image, right? Click on change image and upload image here. That's it. All right. So you can upload an image for each one of your outcomes, update the content to say whatever you want. Now, if you want to allow them to download a PDF right here on the screen, you can enter the PDF short code under personalization. You will find the PDF short code right here, download PDF. You can enter that here. And one more thing you have to do if you want to allow them to download PDF is in the display settings, you'll have to enable PDF option. Right now, I have not enabled it. That's why it's not showing me this PDF icon right here. But if you do that, right, in the display settings, let me take you there quickly. And I'm not going to go over the details of how to do a PDF, how to do a PDF report using SQB. I have a different video for that one. You can, you'll find it in my YouTube channel. Just look for PDF and it'll show you that. Right here, this option, be sure to enable it. And you will see that it says send PDF as an attachment, right? If you want to send them PDF as an attachment, be sure to enable it. So SQB can send them an email with the PDF download. And the content of the email, you can set that in the notifications tab right here. So you can enable this. I want to send students uh, quiz results in an email. In the email, you can let them know PDF is attached. Your personalized PDF is attached. You can create outcome level email, right? So you can send them different emails based on their outcome. Say that you want to allow them to download PDF right on the outcome screen and not have to wait, not have to wait for an email. You can do that. You can just enter this short code on each one of your outcome screens. That's it. All right. So they will see a button that says download PDF and they can download it. But if you don't want to allow them to download on the outcome, you want them to check their email, then you don't have to enter this here. All right. So let's go to the question screen and you can see. I have five different questions, same deal here. Be sure to upload an image. Another cool thing SQB does, it will automatically map out your answers to the right outcome because I have used AI here, right? So it automatically does the outcome mapping. It knows when they pick this answer, it means it should be mapped to this outcome. So SQB knows it because it uses AI to build it and AI will automatically do this for you, right? So you don't even have to do this manually. If you build your quiz manually, be sure to connect answer choices to the right outcome. Create your outcomes and connect each answer to the right outcome. So you can see I have like five different questions here. And be sure to upload an image for each one of your uh, questions or don't use uh, image option. Just use full width. All right. So let's go to the lead generation. This is the button. You can change the button color, everything right here. That's it. In the notifications tab, you can set up different emails and your students will get the email after they complete the quiz. If you don't want to send students an email when they complete the quiz, you just want to connect SQB to your email platform and send all the emails from your email platform. You can do that. At the end, it's going to give you a short code, publish it on any WordPress page, and it's going to show you the quiz. That's what I did here. Let me take you back to the quiz. 
right? This is my quiz. And all I did was I have published the short code here. This is my background image. And uh, let me edit this with my page builder and show you. As you can see, all I have done here is I have entered SQB short code right here. And I'm using a background image here. You can upload a background image in your page builder if you want. If you don't want, that's totally fine. You know, just enter the short code wherever you want the quiz to show up and it's going to show up and it's going to look great by default. So this is how I built the quiz. The only difference between the two demos I showed you, the first one I built it using template 9 and this one I built it using template 7, but exactly the same steps, except I enabled um, the option to show animation, GIF animation when they complete, when they opt in. And you can do that in the settings tab right here. You can see it says gamification animation. You can enable it, edit animation settings. Again, we have several templates that you can pick from. Right? This is the one I used. You can select it and you can update the message and you can personalize it using name because this is going to show up after they opt in. So SQB will know what their name is and you can update this message to say whatever you want and you can show them that message. Another awesome feature to get them excited when they complete the quiz. And this is how it works. All right. This is SQB's PDF builder. Right. So if you want to offer PDF uh, for each outcome, you want to create a different PDF report for each outcome, you can do this in PDF builder. All you have to do is like, you can see I already have one here, right? If you don't, you can say create a new PDF and it will guide you through the steps. And if you already have a PDF, let's say you have created a PDF. Let me just edit this and show you how I built this one. You can see first it's going to ask you for a PDF title, select the type of PDF. Next, uh, here, all you have to do is like create your images using a tool like Canva and then upload it here, right? You can add as many image screens as you want, as many text screens as you want. So my first screen is an image screen. I created this image in Canva. Second screen is text slide. I um, added content using AI. See here, there is AI here as well. You can say use AI for content and it will create the content for you. But if you don't want to use AI, then you can just manually add. This is an editor, right? You can add whatever you want here and save it. And this is your text slide, right? You can see I built it using AI. It has all of this content looks awesome. And the third screen is an image slide. This is a really simple PDF, but the cool thing is like you can upload as many image slides as you want. So create all relevant image slides directly in Canva, say whatever you want, because you're creating different ones for each outcome, right? So you know that this slide is for this outcome. So create stuff related to that outcome and then add it here, right? So you can create multiple PDF reports, one per outcome and uh, save it, right? At the end, it's going to... Just create the PDF for you, done. And you click on this, it's going to give you the advanced PDF option and uh, use this and connect the outcome to the right PDF. As you can see, you don't have to spend thousands of dollars on a quiz platform, you can do it all using SQB and you can do a lot more than most other quiz platforms. That's it for now, this is what I wanted to show you. I hope this was helpful. My name is Veena Prashant, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have not done so already, this way you'll be the first to know when I publish uh, videos like this. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye for now.